I'm Pam. Um, so today I'm going to teach you a little bit about a very comforting homey dish that I grew up with called uh, Gangju Wunsen, which is just a delicious soup. It's honestly one of my very first memories as like a toddler. Um, I was about three years old and my parents were at the hospital to have my little sister. You know, I was pretty attached to them at that point. So my grandmother lived with us as well, so she was basically tending for me at the time. Um, so my earliest memory really is being on the top of my stairs, uh, pretty much just crying like a baby. It must have been close to dinner time. I don't know how long it's been crying by any means. But, um, you know, we never really ate anywhere but the, the table, um, just the dinner table. And she actually brought the dish up to me on the top of the stairs. And I just recall, you know, kind of sobbing. It, like, I wasn't crying as much at that point, probably just sniffling. But, you know, some of the tears falling in the soup. But, you know, the soup was definitely just comfort and everything I wanted in a bowl. Today we're just gonna make a really simple homey Thai dish. Uh, it's called Gangju Wun Sen, um, and it's pretty much just a clear broth soup. Um, I have the Wun Sen, which are just some noodles um, and some warm water, just kind of uh, soaking over here. Uh, they're not super pliable <laughs> until you soak them for a little bit, so I would probably put them in some warm water for about 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna get started on the broth. I'm gonna go ahead and put just, I have chicken drumsticks here, so I'm gonna put them over in the pots. Four cloves of garlic here, ginger in there. I'll taste it to see like how much like, soy sauce or salt I might put to it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and prep, I guess, what, the little meatballs. So I just have a pound of pork here. Let's go ahead and shred the zucchini here. Almost cup. Let's probably just give this like a quick squeeze. I'll just throw it right in the pork and we'll start seasoning. Let me put in an egg just to bind it a little bit. Okay, so I got about two there. A teaspoon of the thin soy sauce. This is white pepper. Um, yes. Put that in. Little flat meatballs, I would say, not like what you would think your traditional round meatball. But we always kind of have them a little, a little bit like little ovals, a little flat, kind of like tiny patties. That's our 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so it's definitely boiling at this point. I'll just throw these in since they're nice and pliable. So we'll just get some of the garnish together because we'll just throw this on top of the soup. 